Middle East. Recent attacks by ISIS in Iraq drove Christians out of Mosul. Can anything be done before Christianity as we know it is wiped out? With me now, Father Gabriel Ada, Reverend at the Syriac Orthodox Church and with the International Christian Outreach. Father, thank you for being with us this evening. How bad is it? First of all, I would like to thank you for allowing me this opportunity to talk about the pain of my people. What's going on in Iraq, Judge, is nothing less than a gen Christian genocide. I would like to draw the attention of the whole world to the great atrocity that is taking place right now in Iraq, in particular in Mosul, the city of Mosul. The city that <coughs> was built on the ruins of Nineveh, the capital of Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization. And the people of that city, they are the indigenous people of that city, that area that for thousands and thousands of years now are driven in a mass <coughs> exodus to leave their homes, father, to leave their country. Uh, father, or, or be killed. Uh, be, well, these people were given an ultimatum by ISIS. Either you convert to Islam, to pay an exorbitant tax, to die by the sword, or leave. All right, so leave your homes, leave everything. Leave your home, and, leave and everything. As they destroy the, the biblical antiquities and, and the, you know, the, the, the tomb of Jonah, what we've got now is almost an elimination of Christianity in Iraq. Who is fighting for the Christians? Well, nobody was fighting for the Christian, unfortunately. Why? That is the big question that we are, you and I have to ask the world. Where, where is the Pope? Where is the Patriarch? Our Patriarch is going from one place to the other, meeting for, with the Head of Nations, meeting with the Secretary of State on Lebanon and Syria and uh, various places. He came here, he visited Washington several times. And right, he, he visited and met with the Ambassador of the United Nations in Lebanon, him and a group of other Patriarchs. And? and uh, we haven't... We don't know. It, are people too afraid of ISIS? I mean, you know, the, the church is peaceful. Orthodox yes. Syriac, Orthodox exactly. Christian, doesn't matter. Yes, yes, ma'am. But the people must be so disappointed. The people are disappointed, unfortunately. And uh, right now, like you and I understand it, terrorists are the ones that are causing these problems. How do we stop it? How do we stop them? First of all, <clears throat> we need to make the whole world hear our voice. Those groups that are supporting and funding these terrorists, to stop funding them, please. We ask that you stop funding them, please. Who's funding we, them? If I knew. I would have told you. Well, ISIS has I taken over know. the banks. I mean, they're... Well, we know that they took, all the, take, took over the banks and took all the monies of these people, especially the Christians, and everything that they had. And they're they, selling the antiquities on the black market. They not only market. took the, their money. Mm -hmm. They not only took their money. They made them leave their homes. And as they got to the borders with the clothes on their backs and nothing else with them and a few dollars cash, they not only took their money, and jewelries. They made them sign away their deeds to their houses as if they never existed in this Where region. Where are they going, Father? Where they, they went going? to nearby villages in Kurdistan. Are they, ex are they being They've accepted, been accepted there? They've in their villages and, and monasteries that we still have there and churches and uh, people's homes that are, you know, our own Christians. Father, you know what I think is so short-sighted? is that this destruction of Christianity and people who speak Aramaic, the, the, exactly. the, the, the language of the Jesus. The language of Jesus Christ. Right. You um, said it. I mean, if nobody's fighting for them, uh, what makes us think that we're safe? Well, ISIS, dearly beloved, it started in Mosul. It went to Syria a few days ago mm -hmm. to a city called, a town called Mahadeh near Homs, the city mm -hmm. of Homs. ISIS went to Netherlands, and ISIS is coming to a town near you and I. 
There's no question about that. Father Day, thank you so much. It is much. an international I threat. Uh, I couldn't agree with you more, Father. Thank you for being with us, and we're going to have you back. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and coming up.